I'm, at, I'm outside of Park West Drive with Limp Bernie. So I'm not far from Quarterfield Road, right by the new Wawa. And at the front of the block, there's apartments, but back here is a nice residential area. So you can't see the roof from here, but um, I know it needs to be replaced because there's parts where the uh, ceiling is coming in on the main level and it's moldy. And there's also some moldy parts down in the basement but the siding is in good shape the windows I believe are original so you want to look into replacing the windows there's an older gas meter but I guess it's okay don't see any major cracks in the foundation it's a really nice garage out back but the deck needs some work concrete parking pad got a lot of wood to clear out and uh, some overgrowth over here fenced yard for the most part So there is central AC, but I'm going to assume the units need some work. So in the backyard, you got a decent amount of overgrowth. And the garage, I'm, I'm going to assume, needs some work. At least on the wood right there. The gutter. Although I can't really see in there. I'm assuming you need a new door, because that door just doesn't really look quite right. A lot of overgrowth. Just trying to peek around back. You can see the roof from here. Just looks like there's some stuff on it. I don't know what that is right there. This looks like a piece of the roof. Okay, I'm gonna go in. When I go in, I'm putting my uh, mask on because of the mold. It's not too, too terrible, but it's in enough rooms for me to wanna wear the mask. And it's a standard split level, but there's only one bathroom. In the upstairs master bedroom I measured was 10 by 13 so there's a lot of parking at least okay let me get my mask on Okay, so split foyer, these floors are actually in pretty decent shape, they're just scratches right here, but other than that, it's pretty good the rest of the way around. These windows here seem okay, I see a broken latch, not sure if the opening or close, not sure about the slider either, but the light fixture is good. I would say all you need to do here is paint the walls. Although you might want to knock this wall out. Paint the kitchen nicer. Right now the kitchen's pretty small. But it has nice recessed lights. Nice light fixtures, like I said. And down this way, closets and then bathroom. You 
Again, decent fixtures. Putting a new vanity, maybe. New floors. Here's the master bedroom with the older window. It has a crack in it. And like I said, I measured it to be about 10 by 13. Here's the bad rooms. Clearly there is an issue here. I'm not sure what's going on in the attic though. I didn't go up there. And then you can see there's some mold extending to this bedroom. These windows actually don't look that bad, so you might only have to replace a few of the windows. At least the front part of the house at least is updated. Here's some new carpet. Fresh coat of paint. Let get this light on the way. Like I said, closet. Coat closet. Then we're back at the front entry. Lights don't really work down here. Okay, so first I'll go to the right. These are older windows, might need to be replaced, but you can see the bedroom has good light. A lot of natural light, it's really hardly sunken down at all. And this closet here has a nice size um, bedroom has a nice size closet. Here's the electric. The wires are all more modern it looks like, but looks like the main, I don't, I don't even see a main switch, I don't know. Might need to be updated. Okay. Does smell pretty bad down here though. Bathroom. We do have a second full bath in the basement, but it's pretty small. It has a closet behind the door. Another closet under the stairs. Here's where the mold's pretty bad again. This is a nice big room. I like the built-in shelves. And you can see there's mold by the windows, so... Pretty sure water's coming in over there. I need to replace them. You can see the cable's pre-wired, and you have the nice recessed lights. It goes all the way around. Nice, nice family room. But it all has to be taken out the drywall because of the mold. And then back this way, the utility room. Let's see, you need a new gas furnace. Here's the hot water heater. It might be okay. You know. Don't see any cracks on the foundation anywhere from what I can see. No, you don't see much because a lot of the basement is already finished. But here's a washer dryer. Nice little laundry space. And then you have an unfinished storage room back here with the sump pump. But again, like I said, did a visual of the foundation and it all looks really good around here. So 
Overall, the house isn't that bad. Just gotta correct those mold issues. Sump pump is actually really dry. Okay. 